Okie dokie. Well, good morning, everybody. Well, I thought I would go ahead and showcase this team that I started using uh, during my stream, uh, which I had just finished up here about a half hour, 45 minutes ago. So, and um, one of my regulars named Delson, um, it's a team that he uses, and he showed it to me, and uh, I kind of like it. Uh, so, but before I continue on, um, just going to have some music running in the background. I'm not even going to bother trying to pronounce the name of it. I think I, I ran the I ran the album through Google Translate. It was a Croatian. I think it said like suffocating smoke, the lake of Victor or something like that. Yeah. So let me go ahead and get that fired up. So there is a and there's actually a There, there's actually a previous version of this I used to play for a while. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna change the team, but I'll just go ahead and do this. But yeah, I had a thrall at the top. That finger and stuff. I had Arachne and Weaver. Um, and I had life and death in there. So kind of work that way but this here is a new and improved version I'll I'll show more here in a bit um, Seeker Darkwood pretty classic uh, it's a loopy troopy uh, she takes purple and she uh, she spits out purple gems as well and she can also uh, dodge she can also uh, dodge skull damage she can uh, she's immune to like immune to a bunch of stuff um, and we got a Ameth, a Orb Weaver, that um, Amethyst Band, um, Explodes Greenies, uh, gives a random buff to all the Elf Allies, which is pretty much my whole entire team. And then, um, these next two here on the bottom... You more get, you more have them for the traits than anything. You curse and web a random enemy when matching four or more gems, which, at least theoretically, which you'll get plenty of with her. And then Frostfire King, freeze and burn a random enemy. And then these, I think it's a. They pretty much all have the same trait, dark ancestry. So. Now, it has been suggested. You can also use uh, Wanda Stars. Um, I, I had some uh, bad experiences with this um, yesterday. So it's, it's kind of a risky weapon to use. And plus, even then, because of all the uh, potential purple gems that's going to be on the board. I'd be kind of skittish on using the, the one where it creates six elemental and more likely to use the uh, create seven umbral instead. So i probably steer clear of the wand. I'd only want it for a blessing, for a blessing all the allies, but again, you're you're potentially handing the whole board to your, your let me rephrase that. You're potentially giving giving the board giving the whole board to your opponent, giving the matches out to Wazoo. So, yeah. It's usually safer to just explode them than it is to create gems and then give them your opponent. But, one thing with this team, though, it's more, um, in essence, it's more specialized for PvP. Because it is a very tedious team to use, having to use um, having to use Seeker over and over and over and over and over. So you'll want to use this team for PvP, because most enemies in there have lower armor and armor and life values. Oh, 
Travis. It's time to do 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 And then I'll, you'll, you'll want to prioritize four matches, obviously. Fail on that, though. Um, go with green. Whatever you got to do to get her up. Try to leave all the purple gems on the board when possible. This team is not without drawbacks. Sometimes that happens. And then one thing I do want to mention, um, if it'll happen. Okay. So all your enemies are now webbed and cursed. And then looking at this ability here. 10% chance to insta kill them. Boosted by cursed and webbed enemies, and right now it's a 42% chance, which act, it it can actually come in handy if there's a certain enemy that you have to get rid of, like Zolgoth comes to mind, or or like the or the enemy hero, like if it's an elementalist, then it might be a good idea to try to try to one shot that guy. So we'll just say, yeah. Nope, didn't work. But, but like I said, you don't. It's not something you want to cast willy nilly. But you know, again, if there's if there's an enemy that has to be gotten rid of, then yeah, this ability here can uh, come in handy for that. Ta da! And, um, one other great thing about this is, uh, it's also cursing them. Um, to me, cursing enemies is practically mandatory in PvP. You know, a lot of them have, uh, you know, stuff like Submerge, various other buffs and immunities that you, uh, you'll, you'll need to get taken off them before you can affect anything else on them. Also use a uh, Frostfire King to finish off battles, like when you have either two opponents whose uh, life and or armor and life total is less than 60, or one enemy that's uh, 120 or less. That's how that works. Let's do one more. Purples or nothing. And no mana surge and a tangle fell off. Not even gonna stick around for this. Not not when a tangle falls off after only one turn.
yeah, what's up? Once this team can get its momentum going, it's, for all intents and purposes, unstoppable. much for that and that is one drawback we're all weak against being stunned so no cursing a weapon for me Um, that's gonna do it for me like I just wanted to do a just wanted to do a demo of that new team so, so let me go ahead and get that um get this all um all prepped up and then uploaded and all that good stuff so but otherwise thanks for watching everybody I appreciate that and I'll see you all next time bye for now